So let's look at Sei Network and how to participate in their incentivized testnet. Now this testnet is going to end in the next one week. As soon as you see this video, make sure to key in immediately. What is Sei Network? Sei Network is a DeFi layer one blockchain. And recently they partnered with Axla Network. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step how to participate in this incentivized testnet so as to become eligible for the airdrop. Let's go. First, you're going to need a Kepler wallet. If you don't have a Kepler wallet, you can simply download it from Chrome extension. I will drop the link in the description. As soon as you have your Kepler wallet, hop over to votersprotocol.io. Here you're going to connect your Kepler wallet and immediately you connect it, you're going to have promptings that you need to confirm or approve in order to create your say wallet. It's going to look like this. Yeah, say testnet. This is my own wallet for a say testnet. Now you need to copy out your wallet address, which is this. You can copy from here or you can also copy from the votersprotocol.io. Once you do that, head straight to their Discord server where you're going to request for the test token. Scroll over to the Atlantic One Fawcett channel, which is this. And here you're going to enter this format, exclamation type faucets, then paste in your say wallet address and send the message in this group. You will see that other people are doing just that and they're going to receive the testnet token. I also found out that you can only request this testnet token once because I tried to do that the second time and they refused me. Look at what they said. You can use this faucet only once. So this testnet is not the one that you do every day, but testing out the protocol once, twice, or three times is fine. Note that you cannot receive any other test token. Okay, let's go back to the protocol. We have gotten your test token and we are set to do some trading. First, we go to portfolio. Look down, you will see deposits. We need to deposit some AUSDC. Click on deposits, then enter an amount, for example, 0 0.80. Click on deposit. Your Kepler wallet will pop up for you to approve the transaction. You can go for average, you can go for low, whatever. Just click on approve. Now we have just deposited. But for our deposit to show right here, we need to refresh the page. Click on this. Here we go, we deposited 80 cents. Okay, next we go to trade. Here we're going to perform two different kinds of trade. We're going to place the limit order kind of trade and the market order kind of trade. So we start with the limit order, scroll down. You see market, you see limit, click on limit. Then enter an amount. We are actually trying to buy some Atom. And Atom is trading at $11.82. So we can enter $11.02 or we can enter $10, whichever is fine. I entered $11.82 and below here I entered 0 0.005 Atom. Now click on confirm limit buy. Now approve this in your Kepler wallet. Our transaction is approved. So we can view this in the Explorer. Click this. This is your transaction details in the Explorer. And this is the hash transaction. For this hash transaction, you can copy it and save in your notepad or any other place you want to save it or you can just leave it right here with this tab open we are going to be needing this transaction hash when filling the incentivized testnet form okay we'll go back to voters to see your orders just click on orders this is the limit order we just placed not too long ago all right we move to the next one which is market order click on market the price is already set. We can actually change it if we want. But let's continue with the way it is. Click on confirm market buy. Also approve it in your Kepler wallet. Click on approve. Transaction is successful. Now we can also view it again in Explorer. Click this. Here is our transaction details. And when you scroll below, you will also see your transaction hash. And again, you need to save this transaction hash because we are also going to need it along the way while filling the incentivized testnet form save it in your notepad or leave this tab open like this okay come back to go test then click on market the next thing you should do is to screenshot this and make sure you capture your wallet address in the screenshot 
After doing that, head straight to your Twitter account. Make a tweet with the screenshot you just took and tag say network. I hope that is clear. Then also screenshot the tweet that you just made. That means you're going to be having two different screenshots. First is this one. The second is the tweet screenshot. For example, I'm going to take you to my Twitter handle and show you my very tweet on this. So this is my Twitter handle. Ensure you follow me if you're not doing that already. Below, you're going to see my tweet. Look at it. I made this tweet about 21 hours ago. So you can do exactly what I just did or do it in your own way. Now that you have done all that, the next thing we're going to do is to go and fill those incentivized testnet form. I'm going to drop the link to the form in the description. Here is the incentivized testnet form. You scroll down. First, you start with your name. Fill in your name. Enter your email address. Enter your Discord handle the way it is. Don't miss anything. Include the hash and the numbers. Just as you can see the example they gave right here. Here it says completed mission. Your answer should be Hornet Wallet to say NAMI testnet. So type it in. Hope you got that. The next one is proof of completion. Here you're going to enter your wallet address. Remember the first screenshot we took where I asked you to ensure you capture your wallet address as well. So you're going to upload it right here. Click on add file, select files from your device, then click on upload. File is successfully uploaded. Now click on submit. First part is done. We move to the next one. It says submit another response. Click on it. Again, we fill this form. Enter your name, your email address, your Discord handle, the completed mission. You're going to answer, tweet a screenshot using Voters protocol. Hope that is clear. Then next, you enter your wallet address. Again, we need to upload proof of completion screenshot. Now you're going to upload the second screenshot you took, which is the tweet you made about say network. So click on add file, click on upload. Our file is uploaded and then hit the submit button. Second form filled successfully, but we are not done yet. Click on submit another response. Scroll down and fill in your details again. Completed mission. Your answer will be place limit order on Votex. Okay, hope you got that. Now, the proof of completion here will be the first transaction hash which I asked you to save when we placed the limit order. Hope you remember that. So, if you saved it anywhere, you need to copy it out right now or you go straight to the bar I asked you to leave open. This is my own bar right here. And here is my transaction hash. I'll just copy it, head back to the form, then paste it right here. You don't have to show any proof of completion screenshot because the hash transaction is proof enough that you placed the limit order. So click on submit button. And now we go to the final stage. Click on submit another response. Fill in the form as usual. Completed mission. And your answer is placed market order on Votex. Hope you got that as well. Now, we are also going to need the proof of completion, which is the second transaction hash we got from placing the market order. If you save this somewhere, bring it out or go straight to the bar that I asked you to leave open as well. This is mine. I'll just copy it. Then I'll go back to the form and paste in the transaction hash. And like I said before, you don't need any proof of completion screenshot because your hash transaction is proof enough that you placed the market order. So hit the submit button. Here we go. We have successfully done everything that we are supposed to do. Hopefully, we are going to be eligible for this airdrop. I trust you like this video and you got value from it. Please go ahead and smash the like button, share this video everywhere, and leave a good comment as always. I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget, we are going to make it. Bye.